You don't do the work you're supposed to do. Instead, you're solving problems and leave them halfway done because they are not interesting anymore. You have a lot of memes. You can't stand cheesy emotion scenes in a movie and you avoid deep intimacy because it's not that comfortable for you. You are a night owl. You often don't hear what's said to you because you're always in your thoughts. You sometimes appear as a human-like robot to a lot of people. You usually like being alone, don't you? You get lost in your thoughts a lot. You worship smart people like other people worship God. If the answer to all of these questions is yes, then congratulations, you are an INTP. Hey there, welcome to Hello Psychology. If you think our videos are cool enough, don't forget to like them and subscribe to our channel for weekly updates. Let's go. Of the 16 personality types defined by Catherine Briggs and Isabel Myers, INTPs are considered to be free-spirited ideals and absent-minded professors. They're not scientists. They're more like a laid-back thinker for whom everything he does is an experiment in life. They appear calm and quite relaxed 99% of the time, but could be feeling a variety of ways within. Only when they've held back their emotions for so long can they eventually reach a breaking point where they have an emotional outburst. This could be anger, attempting to change their life in one big step, a period of depression and maybe becoming more emotional and moody. When INTPs are in a good mood, they giggle and laugh with their friends and are passionate about things they consider to be good. But when they are in a bad mood, they look like they are tired and find it very hard to utter even a few words. In the mind of an INTP, everything sounds brilliant, but when they try to explain it, it's a wreckage of words. You meet a person and say them these words, I have tickets for the game, front row, want to join me? And the person looks a bit confused and not interested to you. Now you pop these four words. I have a library. You what? If you ever met such a person, you surely met an INTP. INTPs do not have materialistic obsessions or desires. They also do not have fixed career goals or targets in life, so they can be pleased very easily. They are also not judgmental, which most of the times make people feel safe and respected around them. This makes them one of the few kinds of people whose company you will surely enjoy. If an INTP ever achieves something great or accomplished a remarkable task or helped someone in need, they will never ever demand any recognition or anything in return. Wow. An INTP in a relationship loves deep talks. Talks on ideas, beliefs, thoughts, hobbies, and the things that they love excite them. They hate small talk and when they talk to someone, they are curious to know more and more things about the other person. What are the issues faced by INTP? They like to be alone and they're not even so introverted compared to some, but they need a lot of space. They can be social for sure, but they need their own recovery time. And sometimes this period can last a long, long time, like few weeks or even months. As INTPs love a good debate, they are mostly ruled by logic. And this can clash with other personalities that prefer to use emotions to describe the world. They are okay with this, but arguments of logic against emotions rarely end well, neither convincing the other. If they are energized and happy, they can almost be considered extroverted. They will be innovative, creative and supportive. But if they are tired and down, they feel the world is against them, which makes them annoyed. This part of theirs turns them into being more argumentative, creating conflict and absorbing themselves in their own world. If an INTP comes to know that they are being emotionally manipulated and used by some person, they will not think for a single moment and straight away cut that person out of their life. No grudges, all emotional attachments are cut, no jealousy, no looking back and no contact with that person forever. That person just simply do not exist for an INTP. As far as my opinion goes, they are not weird, but they are one of the most loyal, gentle, 
and unique people in their own ways. What do you think about it? I would love to hear from you in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.